Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Kristen and I thank you for clicking on this video and watching another cleaning motivational video. In today's video, I am kind of getting caught up on all the things that I have been neglecting. In my last few videos, I did, I've been doing just like a ton of deep cleaning and cleaning and polishing the floors. So there was just a lot of things that I needed to get caught up on, um, like laundry. I needed to get laundry folded and kind of organized. Um, I'm terrible with the girls' laundry. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be doing that in today's video and working my way upstairs. It was a really, really busy week, so I didn't have that much time, but I was determined to get some of this stuff done. This was the day before Chris's birthday. Chris is my husband and I was actually taking him out on a date on this night so I didn't have a ton of time. Um, I wanted to spoil him. <laughs> um, he's been just, he has had the roughest few years. Like it's just been insane. My life has literally flipped upside down. Like I never in my years would have imagined our life had like turned into this um if you guys have been following me you kind of know um how crazy it's been so anyway i wanted to take him out for a nice dinner and um the next day was his birthday and that was we always like the kids have like a big party with him and um we decorate like halloween decorations like that's kind of our tradition so i wanted this night to just be for him and I to kind of catch up and um, to enjoy a little quiet time, especially now that we live by our parents. Um, that's not something that we've ever really been able to do because we always live so far away from our family. So it was nice to take advantage and have the grandparents <laughs> watch the kids for us. So after Chris and I got married, I um, went into banking and we had like a five year plan for like having kids and we ended up <laughs> um, having a surprise at year three and we had Jeremy. And once I had Jeremy, I knew that I just wanted to stay home and it just wasn't possible at the time. I didn't know that when I was pregnant with him. I didn't realize, you know, things we'll just say things really change once your baby gets here. You you think, you know, you can handle working and leaving the baby and then once the baby gets here, you're just like, uh, I am not leaving this baby. <laughs> so long story short, you know, Chris promised me, he was like, I'm gonna make it happen. You're gonna be a stay at home mom. So a few years later, he had the opportunity to do that and um, we moved up to Pennsylvania and I was, I became a stay at home mom and I absolutely loved it. I've been a stay at home mom for like, I want to say seven or eight years. Um, yeah, I think about eight years and it's really just honestly been the greatest joy of my life. Um, I really think that's honestly what I am meant to do because I just never really had a calling from God to do something like particular as far as like a career and I like I enjoyed banking I liked my friends and stuff like that my co-workers but I just think you know honestly my true calling was to be at home and to care for my family So a couple of years ago, um, Chris was, I think I was pregnant with Mona and Chris started having pains in his like feet and his knees and we really didn't understand what was going on. I sent him 
like I told him like let's go to a foot doctor let's figure this out the foot doctor doctor was like I think it's your back so long story short Chris's back basically like fell apart he has degenerative disc disease he has all kinds of stuff going on in his back and it literally got to the point where um, he lost feeling in his left leg Um, he like trips over his foot a lot like it just was so crazy because he's so young and this is something that doesn't typically happen until you're much older so it's been absolutely insane he had a surgery last year that was supposed to like fix his leg and he ended up getting a very 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 bad infection in his surgery um, site and they had to do surgery again and basically when they went in there and did the surgery like it just destroyed his back he has um, like his scar tissue is growing into his nerves so He has a lot of nerve damage. So most of his chronic pain comes from nerve stuff. Um, So today we're actually meeting with a surgeon to kind of get another opinion. We're just trying to be very careful since the last surgery went so bad. Um, We just want to be very careful and talk to as many people as we can before we just jump into it because he is going to need more surgery. Um, so with all of that, my life has just, our lives have just completely taken a 360, you know, like it's just been insane, like just flipped around and Chris, um, he suffers daily. He spends a lot of time in bed and I know when you guys see him sometimes it's like hard to tell because you you know when people have back pain and leg pain like it's not something that you can physically see you know so he is not in my videos he doesn't um, do a lot he does what he can like he does help me a lot um, but there's a lot that he can't do and um, it's it's been a huge huge challenge for him as a husband and a man like you know it's just been it's been difficult for him mentally and physically So I am doing my YouTube channel. I'm really trying to make it grow and help our family. And you know, it's one of the reasons I'm always thanking you guys for watching my videos because um, it really does support my family, you know? Um, And one day I'm hoping that it will like actually financially support us when you're this small, it's, you know, it's sense. (laughs) So, um, but it also, is an outlet for me it gives me um you know a connection with other people and i really enjoy doing it and i've always had like i said i never had a calling but i the one calling i did always feel like i had was um cameras you know i've always enjoyed taking pictures and taking videos and once i started doing this like that little nag that was on my heart kind of went away and I feel like God was pushing me to do this and it was very difficult for me because um, I consider myself very like quiet and shy and you know just you know putting your mess on um, TV on YouTube is is not easy like it's a big um, leap that you have to kind of take and get used to especially in the beginning you know so Um, I've, you know, I've overcome that. I really enjoy it now. At first it was, it was just hard. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's like a nervous hard, you know what I mean? Like you're getting up in front of a bunch of people and talking (laughs) type of thing. So, um, I really do enjoy it. I love like getting to know you guys and hearing your stories and it really helps me because it makes me feel not alone um, in just my daily things that I have to do and you guys help me whenever 
I have like a question like it's just been such a blessing you know and I feel like I really do feel like God was pushing me to do this and sometimes you know you don't understand um, why God's doing something until you know a little further down the road and now I understand why Give it all you got, babe. Give it all you got, baby. I try to... So my biggest struggle with my husband's like back issue is not actually his back. Um, Chris always worked like long, long hours. So I was always, you know, here and doing stuff pretty much without him. And you know, it was tough, but you know, I think God was preparing me. <laughs> so, um, my, our toughest challenge, honestly, is his, he had the side effect of chronic pain is depression. And Chris has never had depression. And with this, um, this pain, he has severe, severe depression. Like he's diagnosed with severe depression and it's very, very challenging. And I, swear to you I have never I, I never understood depression and probably never would have like fully until you are like really handed it it's, you know what I mean like I'm not trying to be like oh depression's not real it, it's not that it's depression is just a whole nother level of um it's just a whole nother depth. Like it's debilitating, you know what I mean? And I don't think I ever understood that, that it could actually be so debil debilitating. Um, so we have like doctors helping him and it's been very, very challenging. And I just, you know, if you guys can pray for him, I appreciate that. Like all the prayers in the world would just mean so much to me. Um, and I pray for him constantly and I know that he's going to get better and we're going to get through this. It's just, that's what we've been dealing with for the last two years. Um, it's just been, it's very, very, very challenging, but I have a lot of faith in God and you know, that's one gift that my mom gave me is my faith in God. And, um, through the years, Chris has grown um in his faith too because when I met Chris he didn't he didn't have anything he didn't believe in anything and, and that was a huge challenge for me because um, I'm Catholic and um he didn't believe in anything so I never try to push him but I just try you know I led our home by example and he was always fine with that he never um was against that he never tried to sway me in any other way he just was what he was you know that's kind of how we lived our lives and I wanted our kids to go um, to become Catholic and he was a hundred percent on board with that he just had his own way of being <laughs> so that's kind of how it was but long story short um, about I don't know five or six years ago well really ten years ago his heart started changing and um, I never thought Chris would become Catholic never <laughs> so um, through the years he decided that he wanted to learn more about it and they have these like RCIA classes where you can really um, understand the faith and you don't just like become Catholic like you have to know what you're doing because there's a lot to it so anyway he went through all those classes and um, he became Catholic he decided once he went through the classes that um, that's where his heart was and so that was just like huge for me a life just like I I prayed about that for years and years and years and I didn't even like pray that he would become Catholic because it was just like I just wanted him to be like have faith you know what I mean like have something so him becoming Catholic was just like oh my gosh <laughs> um so like you know if whatever religion you are having your spouse you know in the same board just makes things easier you know so 
and I, it was just important to me. So I was just like so huge. So anyway, with that said, I do have a lot of faith and so does Chris. So we are just trying to get through this and I know that he's going to get healed one day. I, I have faith in that and we just, you know, we just have to get through this lovely time that we're dealing with right now. So Chris and I have been through so much, um, like we met so young, so, you know, we pretty much lived our whole lives together and everything that we've both gone through, we've gone through together. So, um, when I was 17, we lost my brother, um, and Chris was good friends with my brother. He was a pallbearer at his funeral and it was just like, it was so it was horrible like it was so devastating and tragic and I lost my bro my excuse me my dad um, and then nine months after we lost my dad we lost a baby um, she was stillborn Chris lost his mom like it's just been like our life has been insane <laughs> you know but we really have learned that life is precious you know so we try to stay very positive through everything we're going through um we definitely deal with our you know our emotions and our issues but i have to say my faith has gotten me through everything you know like just pray 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 <laughs> that's that's what i've done and it's it's gotten me through and you know i think when you go through things like this you can um, you know, go in two directions and I really try to stay positive and, um, when I'm down, I pray and it helps me so much, you know, but I think when you do deal with like such heavy stuff, you, you learn that life is precious, you know, and these kids that you have, you know, you can, um, bring them up and teach them their faith and um, give them joy, you know, and that's what my parents did. Like I had such a good childhood, you know, so I want that for my kids.
So, like I mentioned, Chris has an appointment today, and I will try to keep you guys posted on what's going on. Um, sometimes we go into these appointments with high hopes, thinking like our life is going to change, and then we, you know, it's not like that. So, sometimes I'll mention like, oh, we have an appointment, and then <laughs> nothing, you know, nothing comes from it. So... Um, I do know that Chris is going to need surgery again. We just don't know when and with everything that he's been through, like we're just really trying to be careful and get as many opinions as possible just to, you know, exhaust all avenues just to be safe because, you know, I don't want anything to happen to him. Like he almost died this time last year. Like it was crazy. So... I hope you guys don't mind that I chatted in this video um, versus like kind of telling you what I'm doing cleaning wise but sometimes I just feel like you guys are so invested in me and you watch all my videos and you know I want to share more of our life but um, this is a cleaning channel so it's you know maybe one day I'll do a vlog channel I don't know if I feel like I can handle two channels <laughs> I'll do it but right now, I just figured this was the best way to kind of update you guys and, you know, have you get to know me a little bit more. I know there's so much more to myself, but um, sometimes it's, you know, knowing what to say is kind of hard. Um, like what you guys would be interested, I don't know. But this was kind of like a therapy session for me. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I post videos twice a week, so I will be posting another video. Um, I did the grout in my kitchen, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Like, I've been dying to do it, and it looks totally different. I feel like I have a just different kitchen, so I'm excited to get that edited and get it out for you guys. But um, if you like this video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you for listening to me if you made it all the way through. <laughs>